Good morning children welcome to class 5 I am Kusum your social studies teacher Hope you all are utilizing your quarantine time constructively Yes good Children today we are going to start with our first chapter that is the story of early humans In this chapter we will learn about human evolution and the sources that help us to know more about different stages of human evolution children do you know what is evolution evolution means the gradual process of change and development in something over a long period of time or we can say it is a very very slow process of change in the growth and development of something which is not possible for us to see in our day to day life because it takes lot of time or million years to show result or to give result for example seven continents seven continents are very good example of evolution evolution of earth as we all know around 200 million years ago earth contained single landmass called pangea later on this pangea divided into seven continents due to the forces continuously working inside the earth children you can see in the first picture around 200 million years ago all the seven continents are connected or joined together in the second picture 130 million years ago you can see continents were drifting away from each other you can see a gap between landmass or continents these gaps increased in the third picture 65 million years years ago you can see here gap has increased fourth picture that is today's earth earth with seven continents and these seven continents are result of evolution evolution of earth let me tell you children on the earth surface still changes are taking place because forces inside the earth continuously working and affecting the earth surface but we are not able to see this because it is really very very slow i believe evolution is clear to everybody now let's talk about the story of human evolution under this we will know about the gradual growth and development of early humans how they have grown from ape to modern man that is it that is lengthy process of change and development in which our ape like ancestors went through lot of changes to become a modern human and this complete journey is divided into different stages different stages like our life cycle is divided into different stages children we know that no, that human life cycle has different stages like fetus when the baby is in mama's tummy baby childhood adolescence adult hood old age these are the different stages of human life cycle children see in the picture you can see each stage is different from other on each stage of life we can see different physical and emotional changes like when we are a baby we are dependent on our mothers but when we grow up when we start talking when we start walking when we start observing things around us when we start thinking when we start analyzing things 
we start doing our work ourselves in a same way human evolution is also divided into different stages on the basis of mental and physical growth so we can say human evolution is the story of gradual growth and development of early humans in which our ape like ancestors changed into modern human it is believed that human evolved from hominins children there are five stages according to mental and physical changes these are austro australopithecus first second homo habilis third homo erectus fourth neanderthal last one that is fifth one homo sapiens these are the five different stages of human evolution first stage australopithecus other name for this is southern ape they lived between 3.9 and 2.9 million years ago children you can see in this picture they are very much similar to ape see their face their long arms their legs and see their body it's too hairy they are very close to apes but only difference is they can walk on their two legs their brain they were having very small brain almost 35% of today's modern man their lifestyle was very close to animals life they were dependent on plants for food second stage homo habilis other name for this is handy man they lived between 2.4 and 1.4 million years ago see they are short in height they were having long mm, arms and legs like apes their brain size was bigger than australopithecus so they were more intelligent than them they were first to make stone tools and use them they used these tools to protecting themselves from wild animals and gathering food they were vegetarians mostly they were dependent on plants for food but sometimes they eat meat too third stage homo erectus you can see they are quite different from first and second stage and little bit close to today's human they lived between 1.9 million and 140000 years ago their second name is upright man they are having short hand and long legs their brain is bigger than homo habilis they were intelligent and smarter than the homo habilis they improvised stone tools and they discover fire they use stone tools for gathering food and hunting and protecting themselves they don't know they were not knowing how to grow plants so once food supply is over they move from one place to another place in search of food they used to always move in a group so they started be believing in community they use fire to protect themselves from wild animals or for warmth also fourth stage neanderthal second name for this is caveman they lived between 4000 years and 4000 years ago see in the picture 
they were having strong muscular bodies like today's human they started wearing clothes their clothes were made up of animal skin they were having bigger brain than homo erectus they were very intelligent and smart they started living settled life as they started growing plants for their food we can say they started agriculture they improvised stone tools they discovered more uses of fire they started having cooked food they started protecting themselves from wild animals with the help of fire they use fire for lighting because nights are darker they use fire for warmth they use stone tools for hunting for gathering food for protecting themselves they started living in a community they started believing in a team work they started living in a caves they used to draw on a cave walls to express their emotions or feelings they were first to bury their dead bodies they invented wheel wheel is a very important invention because of this it was easy to move from one place to another place now come to the last stage homo sapiens known as wise man also because they were having bigger brain than neanderthal homo sapiens are you and me they lived between 200000 years ago to present time they have improvised all the inventions and discoveries done by the previous stages and they have discovered and invented lot of technology to improve their lifestyle or for the betterment of human life human life for betterment of human life they started agriculture and domestication of animals for their livelihood they started living settled and stationary lifestyle this is all for this lesson class very soon i'll be back with the second part of the chapter thank you stay blessed